Today's video is about being versus doing, and they are mutually exclusive, or at least that's my impression of them. If you've been liking my videos so far, please hit the subscribe button so you can be tuned into my latest video. Definitely, if you're getting help from any of these videos, hit the like button or if a video resonates with you, and I always appreciate your comments. Let's talk about doing first. Doing or accomplishing things is where I spent most of my attention in my early life. And I was all about accomplishments and I loved it and I have no regrets whatsoever, really loved it. And you know, just very proud of my accomplishments. And then I thought, is this all I wanna do in life is just accomplish, accomplish, accomplish. And there's society rewards you. Society is like, yes, Sam, just keep accomplishing. Your accolades are what define you. They're what create a legacy. They're what gives you money and you need money in this world. So society was telling me, yes, yes, yes. Keep doing, doing, doing. And I remember my niece one day, I was, you know, when I take vacation, took vacations, I was just constantly doing stuff. And she was like, wow, Sam, you're so productive. And I felt totally flattered and, and complimented. But then I see there's another side of that, which is like, oh, someone can't just sit and relax. And I did vacation somewhat well, I, I could relax. But then I started thinking about other aspects of life and sort of shifting my life to the just being. Because this is our only life experience as far as we know. And there is some benefit to just being, I believe. And by being, you know, that sounds kind of cool. You're, you know, you're meditating, you're, you're, you're focusing on your breathing or you're tuning out. Um, those sound wonderful, but you're doing nothing? That doesn't sound as cool, but it's the same thing. To me, being is truly doing nothing. You're just being. And let me give you an example of why I was so drawn to, to trying to shift my life from the doing and accomplishing category to the more being. What are the odds that the universe exists, that all this exists? Those odds seem to me to be so low. And then somehow we popped into existence, right? There's a lot of things that happened before you and I got here. And to me, that's just a remarkable miracle, such a miracle, such a low probability event that, that you and I exist, but we do. And to me, each moment is such a miracle. Somehow this moment exists right now. Uh, the universe has, all these things have happened for billions of years up until this moment, and now this moment exists, and we're experiencing it. And this thinking and reading about ideas around why does this all exist, why do we exist, what is consciousness, really made me want to just be more and by B, I, I mean a few things. So trying to figure out how to meditate and to try to tune out of my thoughts. My, my brain thinks pretty much constantly. Uh, I'm lucky to not think for even just a few seconds before thoughts come into my head. Uh, so I'm not a great meditator. You know, if there was a meditating competition, I don't know where I'd stack up in that. But I do devote a lot of time to meditating. And there's several different strategies uh, you know, there's the meditation where you focus on your, uh, your breathing and you might focus on observing your body and observing what's going on it as if you're outside of your body. Uh, there's, there's guided meditation where you put thoughts into your head intentionally. There's actually tons of different forms of meditation. So to say you meditate is almost like saying, oh, I play sports. It doesn't give you a lot of specifics around what's happening. So I've spent probably around a decade trying to learn to be more. And it sounds wonderful on paper, but it's very challenging for me because it's not rewarded by society, at least in the immediate term. Another form of meditating is actually doing nothing, right? I'm, what did you do today? Well, I meditated all day, sounds pretty cool. I did nothing today doesn't sound very interesting to most people. So if you are working hard on just being, it's not something that's heavily rewarded by society in the near term. And it, it's like saying you're doing nothing with yourself. You're doing nothing with your time. You're doing nothing with your days. 
So I'm in this struggle where I tip the pendulum to the doing, uh, sorry, I tip the pendulum to the doing and I tip the pendulum to the being. And I think we all do that to some extent. But what I'm really interested from you is your own journey on the doing versus being. One more example I want to leave you with is when I was in high school, I remember when I was with certain friends, there would be a motivator. And this motivating person would be like, oh, hey, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go do this. And it was really fun to be around a motivator. And we'd do all these really fun, awesome things. And then when I got to college, I just had a slight perception change on the motivator because I, I, I met this one person who no matter what we were doing, they always wanted to go somewhere else. And I thought, oh, they're just so anxious all the time that they can't just be. They, they're not okay just being in this situation that we're currently in. They're constantly looking to change their situation to something else. And then we would go change it to something else and then they'd want to change it yet again. And so I started seeing, oh, that's not a motivator. That's just someone who's got a, a decent level of anxiety and they just never seem to be happy with where they are. Uh, so it was in college where I first started seeing a shift in my own thinking from, hey, always doing might be some form of anxiety, of, of a deep anxiety to constantly feel like you have to be doing something and recognizing that just being is something that's okay. Um, so this is somewhere where, you know, I, I'll, I'll talk in future videos more about this, but before I do, I actually wanted to reach out to you, the viewer, and hear some of your comments about your, your own journey around doing versus being. So please comment if you can, and thank you for your attention.